My name is Adam Kungu. My question is about My name is Adam Kungu. My question is about Somalia joining the community. Their fears and concerns respect of Somalia based insurgents moving into member states, their fears of unregistered influx of economic migrants, their also fears of uh, uh, smuggling of arms. Hello, my good people, and of course, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're watching us for the first time, guys, we request that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please consider uh, sharing our videos and also like our videos in order for us to reach a wider audience you know by you liking our videos it will youtube will be able to recommend our videos to many many audience who have never heard about us and actually guys we are so happy to have you as our fans or as our followers who follow our videos our stories and we love you so much guys now today i want us to talk about somali somali is this country here you see somali is this country now somali recently joined the east african community when I say the East African community, what first comes to our mind is the countries like our countries like Kenya, Uganda, uh, Tanzania, uh, Rwanda, DRC Congo, uh, Sudan is actually South Sudan, Burundi. Okay, so these countries uh, there used to be seven before Somali was admitted in as a member of East African community, but right now. There are eight, eight members, you know. That's a very good news and a very good story because uh, Africa is trying to come back as it used to be long ago. You know, long ago, we never used to have all these boundaries that we see, you, that you see around. Africa used to be a, a very, very big land without boundaries. People used to uh, walk from one point to the other without any restriction. But after the, our colonizers' idea of divide and rule, they divided Africa into partitions, into uh, sections. That's that's now why we have all these countries, 54 countries in Africa. But long ago, it used to be one big Africa. Now, Somali joining East African community is actually a good news and uh, an advantage to the African community. You know, when you when you are you are large in in number and you go to uh, to negotiate on a table with with the trading partners, you get that the confidence of, ne of negotiating with your trade partner. Now you become very strong and very and very powerful. Actually, it is it is good and you know, it's a good news to have heard that Somali is now a member of the East African Community. It's now considered part of the East African countries. My name is Adam Kungu. My question is about. Somalia joining the community, their fears and concerns respect of Somalia-based insurgents moving into member states, their fears of unregistered influx of economic migrants, their also fears of uh, uh, smuggling of arms. Thing that concern you as leaders in this region and what's the plan do we intend to see the region deploying in some just the way it did in the democratic republic uh, now somalia joining the esc and having security problems we would like to see many countries coming together to form a community and that will boost the trade between African countries. And that's what we want. Now, Somali first made their attempt of uh, becoming a member of the East African community in 1990. So many years have gone. Okay? And uh, their first meeting was held in 2012. And actually, this is the 23rd meeting that they have held to admit Somali into membership. Why do you think it has taken all this long to admit Somali into membership with the, with the East African community? The Islamist militant group Al-Shabaab. 
have claimed responsibility for the latest car bomb explosion in Mogadishu. Where hundreds of thousands of people, many trapped by conflict, are facing extreme hunger and death. Somali has been in a very difficult time. And the people who are living in the country are living in the country. The people who are living in the country are living in the country. You know, Somali, when you hear the, the name Somali, what first comes to, comes to your mind is Al-Shabaab. Somali used to be associated with the Al-Shabaab uh, because Al-Shabaab based their territory in Somali. And uh, as you can see, many countries uh, merged like uh, Ethiopia, Kenya, sent their troops in order to bring peace, chase these people away. And I don't want to call them a terrorist because I want to talk about that topic. Actually, I will make it a new topic in another day. So it's somehow a deep topic that someone might not understand. But when I get time, I think I will talk about that topic. Okay. Now, Somali joining East African community is an is a is a, is an advantage to the African nation and uh, the East Africa as a whole because it's going to boost our trading argument, meet with our trading partners. And this is what actually you want. Now, I'm going to read you an article here that was published on uh, 24th by the East African community. Actually, it is in, the, in their website. Somalia joining the ESC and having security problems. The issue of economic integration is about market, common market. Akatare, Akawamu. Somalia is already part of the of, of this suffering community. Because if you go, I'm sure, if you go to the shops, they are full of East African goods. I'm sure. When I went there, last time I didn't go to shops, but, but I suspect that that Somalia <coughs> is full of East African goods. Even before Somalia joined the community. So, if that is the case, why not uh, formalize it? And the issue of um, insecurity, you people, you like foreigners. You're always busy with those people. You must have heard of the USA when it was developing. In, in the 1960s, I never went to, I think I went to, to film shows like tw twice in my life. To, it was a million day every day. Again, I come from film now. But I used to see advertisements in Mbarara town, here in Kampala. Even in Nairobi, when I would be passing through Dar es Salaam, in those, in those days there were films called The Wild West. Wild West. The western part of the United States, which, was a, which had a lot of insecurity. Films of cowboys shooting, what, you remember? <laughs> huh? yeah. Those parts were already part of the United States, but they were insecure. But you couldn't throw away your cloth. Kwanga eruko eruko sere sere mu mani sere mu abawa nu mu oya ibom tau nu mani sere. So what can I hear? Oh, uh, sere, but I'm going to call it obkura. But we want to obkwata kungoyezo. 
when you are going through the uh, the, the bush, the, 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 not the bush, the gardens which are overgrown, they are the ones with sere. So I can't I can't uh, run away from my farm because there is sere. No, it is insecurity, but it is my farm. Uh huh. It is part of, of my livelihood part of, of our structure. So insecurity, we shall, we, shall, we, we, it, we shall handle it. But meanwhile, trade is also going on. Because even within the war, goods are going. When we are fighting here, when we cut off Katonga, we are getting the, the, you fellows who like uh, alcohol. That's when I saw something called Primus. I said, what is Primus? Said, this is beer from Burundi. Primus beer was coming from Burundi all the way to, to, to Kayabu here, Kayabu near the equator here. So even in the chaos, the trade was going on. So why not bring, why not bring the, them? Now, on the non-tariff barriers, uh, this is, uh, of course, uh, unfortunate, but um, uh, this, this is where we, we feel sorry, I feel sorry for you people, because I hear that uh, there are four, 500 radios and TVs and what do they talk about? Ah, Bogera Kufumam Seven. Oh, Kari, again, the mass. Oh, which is now I am. But those radios should be talking about issues like the non tariff barriers. Because that's where you, you, your future is. Yeah, your future. Murua nomza davana. Davana bagana kuzala davana. What is their future? NRM, we have our government. Integration is very crucial for your survival, for your, your prosperity. But people don't talk about it. So talk about. Uh, I don't know what America, America, I don't know what. But if you are really talking to you here and the ones in Kenya, the ones in Tanzania, you are all talking about livelihood. How to how to survive you people. Avali me kasori. Ania na gula kasoro yu. Aba mata. Aba sukari. Ebikado. Ebikado. Ebikado kamara. Then you would build up public opinion in East Africa which would isolate those who don't see this. But you don't talk about it. You're talking about other things. About I don't know what you talk about. European clubs that you watch. European clubs, football. Me, I've never, I've never watched a single European club. I stopped playing football myself. Why do I? I can play myself. Why do I have, why do I have to watch others, especially Europeans? The same way, Okuzanyom appeared in 1966. That, that was my last time when I was in Muchisawa. Then I, I went to this, this job here, Obiyekera, and, and, and political struggle, ideological struggle. So, the, uh, these non-tariff barriers are really blind. Some few years ago, some people came here, so, oh, too far. 
Omicheri kwe Tanzania kututa Tanzania is bringing a lot of rice So uh, I said uh -huh. And this is killing our rice huh. How can somebody kill me if I'm sitting here And you're also sitting there How do you kill me Unless there's something wrong with me Omuntu ajati omicheri Tanzania ne kutunda kubeye ya wansi okusingo guguo guguo wano that means you are an, an inefficient rice grower no recho ah shigenda ku they wanted me to block the mchero of Tanzania I said no I'm not going to do that because zentaro zabazibi wapa maso because I block the Mujero of Tanzania, Tanzania blocks something from you. When shall we ever trade together? Uh -huh. So I refused. But I hear Tanzania still blocks. So I will go and see her excellency Samir say now. Akuwa Gowa. I couldn't protect the inefficient mchere growers of Uganda na baga ama mbamatu msuara kufuganya no mchere kwa Tanzania mve mve mkwere bila you do other things because there is some unfairness first of all you are unfair to the Ugandans okuwa waliza mbu wagule mchere kwa bei ya waguru kuwanga kwa bano these inefficient Ugandan so-called rice growers. So you, you are first of all unfair to the Ugandans. Nayati Ogude Taro na Tanzania. Kuanga bo galawo mchero kwa Tanzania na wagenda kugalawo ichirala. So I opened. And if you look at the figures, the trade balance now is so much in favor of Tanzania between our two countries. Uh, the, the Uganda has got a trade surplus with all the other countries, except uh, especially Tanzania, but to some extent Kenya also. Because Kenya, I, I also hear they are blocking this, blocking that. Nayenze, uh, Nagana, blocking Omicheri. So, uh, I would discuss with Her Excellency. The, the integration means, because some of them say, ah, we, we, are, we are giving you a quarter of what to bring. Why do you give me a, a quarter? Because this is one market. Katere Kamu, Leka, Oyo, Asola, Okoleji, into more efficiently to Mugule Kofena about East Africa Kuanga uh, Walo Tanzania like Omichere Gwa Tanzania if they are, if they are cheaper let them they, 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 let's all Mugule Omichere Gwa Tanzania Ugwa Mugule Mugule Ki and I'm going to read for you this portal here you see this one this is the website you can if you get time you can go there and uh, have a look, read, and I'm going to read you this uh, publication that was done by East African Community. The subject is Somali to sign treaty of accession with the East African Community today. Now, the Federation Republic of Somali is inching closer to joining the East African Community with the Horn of African Nation scheduled to sign a treaty of accession with the bloc at the State House and Tebe Uganda today. You know, Somalia got their independence in 1960. Since then, Somalia has been going through a lot. There has no, there's never been peace in Somalia. There's never been a good trading partnership with Somalia. And actually, many countries or many African countries feared to join part, to join hand with Somalia to become one, because Somalia never had peace. Somali government has been going through a lot in order to 
bring its citizens together. Now, the Treaty of Accession will be signed by Somalia's President Sheikh Hassan Mohamud and the chairperson of the Summit of East African Heads of State, His Excellency Salva Kiir, the President of, uh, of South Sudan. The President of South Sudan. The standing ceremony will be witnessed by Ugandan President Yoweri Guta Museveni. Why do you think Museveni is witnessing this process? You know, Museveni is considered an elder when it, when it comes to uh, African countries meeting. He is always considered as an, as an elder because he has been there and he has been fighting for this for so for so so long. Okay, we remember be a president who was killed. He used to be a very good friend of Yoweri um, Guta Museveni. They used to be very very good friends. Okay, and actually he wanted to see Africa. He wanted to be to to, to see Africa having their own currency, and. Uh, that's what he wanted, okay? He never wanted to see African gold going outside Africa, and uh, this is what he, he was fighting for, okay? You remember during those days, d d during the times of uh, of Gaddafi, Libya used to live like, Libyans used to live like kings. Remember, you, you, you wake up in the morning, you don't have to go to work, just sit there and you get your salaries. When you give birth to, to children or a child, your child is also entitled to uh, free education, free health care. Okay? It, Libyans used to live well. Okay? So this is what Rupin saw as a threat to them and also it will deny them uh, access to Africa and the African minerals resources. And this is what actually killed Gaddafi. Let me tell you the truth. You know, they used to say that Gaddafi is a, is like a mean of Uganda. Okay? When, when, when you hear the word Amin or the name Amin, what comes to your mind is like a killer, a murderer. But all these things are just cover up. One day, one time, we'll have time and discuss these uh, stories. And actually, you'll get to understand why Gaddafi was killed, why uh, Amin Dada was also murdered. And it's not a, a short story or a, something to uh, to be told in one statement. It's a long, long statement, actually, that when you start talking about it, it will take us like one hour video, okay? <clears throat> but I thank, I thank God that I have you as my people who listen to me. And actually, we, we, we talk together, we share... And my, I might not have known everything. I, I know I have very knowledgeable fans who understand this stuff. And together we shall make Africa great. Together we shall awake our people to understand their continent and to understand history and what's going on. Now, the signing ceremony will be witnessed by Uganda President Yurika Kutam Seveni, also in attendance with the East African Secretary General, Honorable Dr. Peter Mutuku Mutu and among other dignitaries. The summit of the East African Community Heads of State at the 23rd ordinary meeting, ordinary meeting held in Arusha, Tanzania on 24th November 2023 was considered the, the report of the East African Council of, of Ministers on the negotiations with the Federation Republic of Somalia into the East African Community and resolved to admit Somali as a full member of the community. That's a very good news that everybody wants to hear the summit further designated that the chairperson of the summit is his excellency his excellency maya uh, maya did to agree with somali on when they will be signing the treaty of accession of somali into the community the summit further directed that within six months after the signing of the treaty of accession somali shall be required to deposit the instruments of ratifications with the secretary General, the heads of state also directed the East African Councils of Ministries to develop a roadmap for the integration of the Somali into the community and report progress to the next meeting of the summit. And guys, if you're watching for the first time, I request that not hesitate to subscribe because we want Africa, one love, Africa, one currency, Africa, one people. And I know with the time, as the time goes by. We will uh, be independent because right now Africa is never independent. African people are never uh, free. 
and we, sh we shall fight to the core until we become free. And I thank you so much to watch my videos and uh, continue subscribing, continue sharing our videos and continue preaching one Africa, one love. Okay, It doesn't matter where, wherever you're watching me from. If you're watching me from uh, America, we love you so much guys and we want you to come back home to Africa because Africa needs people like you. Africa needs people who are uh, uh, needs many specialists, okay? Who, and Africa needs people who can come and invest in in Africa, in order to grow Africa. So, guys, do not hesitate to pack your stuff and come to Africa because Africa needs you. African Americans, you are welcome back to Africa, and continue tracing your way back to Africa. Continue tracing your roots back to Africa, and I know with time. We shall have one Africa, one people, one nation. So guys, I love you so much and see you again in our next video. That, that Somalia <coughs> is full of East African goods. Even before Somalia joined the community. So if that is the case, why not formalize it. And the issue of um, insecurity, you people, you like foreigners. You're always busy with those people. You must have heard of the USA when it was developing in, in the 1960s, uh, I never went to, I think I went to, to film shows like tw twice in my life. To, it was a minute day, really. Again, I come from film, wow. But I used to see advertisements in Mbarara town, here in Kampala. Even in Nairobi, when I would be passing through Dar es Salaam, in those in those days there were films called The Wild West. Wild West. <laughs>